Welcome to another Buzz of Golf. Uh, today we have a little match going on out at Atoms Lake. Right down the first tee shot, well, let's just say I didn't warm up and I managed to top oh, it yeah, about yeah, 100 yeah. yards yeah. down the fairway. That's so this second shot just needed to get it out of trouble and give herself a look at the green. I just managed to hit it a little bit too hard and it ended up next to these bushes. But played a reasonable shot up to the green. Now we have a putt for par. Mm, just skirted past the hole, so we ended up with a bogey on the first, but luckily we were even. On number two, decided to take on the green here with the three wood. It was about 250 yeah, yards away. Two. And we played a pretty <laughs> decent shot, yeah. and it ended up about uh, 20 yards away from the green, as you see. Managed to fat that chip though. What did you do? Just skipped by the hole there. Did a hove up. Um, but managed to get down for bogey. On number three, yet another blind tee shot That's and right. another dog leg to the left. There Again, decided to give That's this a, a hit, um, but it ended up going higher than I intended it, and we ended up just off the fairway here in the rough. Yay. So chip back across, and just want to try and get up and down here if I can. Played a decent chip, didn't roll out as much as I thought it would. And we're on the bogey train. This course, for some reason, um, I find it difficult, really difficult to play, especially with those blind, first three blind tee shots. That's good. So this was a decent shot, uh, three wood again off the tee. Just played it to the end of the cart path because I know that it's going to roll back into the fairway, which indeed it did. And we got a good 40 or 50 yard roll off of that tee shot. Hybrid then. And I need a quack. That was a, a toppy shot. <laughs> Um, but luckily it was all downhill and managed to roll out quite a way. Approach shot then to the green. This is a difficult green to stick, so I was actually pretty happy that I at least made it there and didn't end up in the bunker. This was just a poor putt. I honestly don't know what happened there. My wife got attacked by a bee at that point, so we, we, we missed the next part. We, we got down for bogey. Oh, I lost it again. It's down one o'clock, yeah. One o'clock. This tee uh, shot, a um, little bit off the toe, down. ended up going right. We ended up on this wonderful patch of grass. And just didn't make a very good contact with the ball. So approach shot to the green. I thought I was lined up pretty well here, but looking at my feet now, I can see I'm aiming left. The green is about 40 yards right of where I've actually hit this ball. Good distance, it was pin high, just wrong direction. This is a really nice chip on this par five. Ended up pretty close to the hole. All we gotta do now is roll it in. And it went straight around the hole. <laughs> so we got that for bogey. Luckily, it was a gimme. And that was for a win of the hole. Hole number six is the first par three on this course. I made a really good contact, just got a bit of fade on this. But ended up off and to the right of the green. Shot 
So you just want a nice loose hands here and an easy chip. I took a 52 because I thought it would roll out. Played a pretty decent shot. It just didn't go anywhere. Nice lag putt, and we ended up in for another bogey. So really on a bogey train today. I'm putting this down as not warming up. <laughs> Hole number seven then is the second par three. 136 yard par three, and I've hit this nine iron absolutely plumb. But my feet weren't quite aligned to the flag, and I ended up um, just to the right of the, the pin. So this is actually the second putt. Um, we didn't catch the first one. But we got that for par, Yay. and we made it. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> so hole number eight. Another decent tee shot here with this three wood. Absolutely dead straight. And it went a mile. Just hit the down slope there on the fairway and it just shot off. Hybrid then, I wanted to be on the left hand side, it's the best approach to the green. So I played this with a little bit of fade. Good shot. Thank you. We were never going to make the green, and I just don't have 250 yards in me. Blue pitch shot. Again, just got caught up in the front here. I thought this would have rolled out a little bit further, but it didn't. And I elected because I had a bit of fringe to play with to take a chip. And just caught the ground behind the ball. Didn't quite release out as far as I wanted it to. And ended up with that putt for par on this hole. Alan, my playing partner, had a really swinging putt here for his par and didn't play it high enough. Whoa. Wee. Whoa. Stop. Bye. This is my putt for par. Decent putt, two inches to the left of the hole. Another bogey. Only one par today so far. We're on to the last hole. It's quite an intimidating tee shot. That, that gap is about 12 feet really wide nice. there. Yeah, There's a big fence and trees to the right. So you, you have to play a little draw here or just play an iron off a tee. Luckily enough for me, I've got a really good three wood away. Approach shot then. This is a poor swing for me. Um, ended up left of the green. The huh? But this for me was the shot of the day. Really nice chip into the green, lots of check on it, and stop right next to the flag. I've got that left now for a par and to win the match. Alex sunk a really good putt for his par. Al's putt was a little bit short. Managed to make his bogey. Well done. And that's another par. So Yay! seven over for me today. And it was a win. So I'm happy with that. That was a really good game. Thanks for watching. See you next time.